And then that brings us to uh, the policy recommendation for 1-39, which is policy development. Uh, the chief did respond, and he, uh, he essentially denied it to implement it as the board uh, proposed it, but did submit it to the Office of Policy Analysis. So it was on the agenda for the last OPA meeting. Is this about the qualifications for the chief? Is that, one, is that the one? No, this is policy it? development. Okay. How policy should be developed? Is right, that, and okay. where, the board, where the board as an entity is going to uh, review policy as a body, okay. as is contemplated in the settlement agreement uh, and outlined for all of the settlement agreement policies. Gotcha. Um, so it was on the agenda last Tuesday, and it was discussed briefly. And I did include the flow chart from the current um, policy development policy. And what was discussed, and I think what um, in 2020 hindsight makes sense, is instead of the board inserting itself in the uh, flow chart in the chain, that the board be a named party down at the bottom where it says settlement agreement related, then the flow chart says yes, if that's a policy related to the CASA, then it goes to a review and approval by all parties. And that's the monitor, and that could include the POB as a reviewing party to review the policy changes for approval. And um, in discussing it, that seems to make more sense as opposed to inserting yourself in between PPRB and back to OPA. What you're going to get is you're going to get a, a proposed changed policy for this body to review and approve. And does our policy committee agree with that? Have you, have you all? No, none of these are, none of these are. None of these are decided. These are, this was just a, the discussion that okay. occurred at OPA. And uh, the policy development is going to be on the agenda again. And uh, I was promised that there would be sufficient notice so that the board members that were available could come and express their views about why it's necessary that this board uh, be inserted somewhere in this policy review. Well, since 51% of what we're supposed to be doing is policy, one would think this was the right place to be. Am I crazy? You guys? <laughs> I mean, isn't that part of it? How could we not be part of it if that's what the ordinance says we have to do 51% of our stuff is policy? Julian, help me out here. Isn't that what it says? I'm sorry, Ms. Chair, could you repeat that? Um, I said there, it's a question whether or not we should be involved in the official policy making process for APD. And I don't know how we cannot be since 51% of our task is to be involved in policy making for APD. So I don't know why that's even still a question. Do you? Chair Fine, uh, no I don't. By, according to the ordinance, um, over 51% of your time is supposed to be on policy work. Sure, um, however, in the flow chart, we are involved in the PPRB and in the um, um, SOP re uh, review committee, CPOA is involved in that. So what the idea was that by having a more um, defined role of our own, uh, that we could also um, include more um, uh, citizen community input. Uh, I don't have any trouble at all with the suggestion that, uh, for the review that um, Mr. Harris mentioned, but um, yeah, I think it's, um, we, we do have some standing now, it's just all I wanted to say, but I think we'd like more. Uh, Chair Fine and Board Member Brown, the, the, the monitoring team does, has inquired 
when does the body, the POB, review a policy in total as, as an entity as, as opposed board, to, just, as opposed to just, uh, and I don't want to diminish it, as opposed to participating in the policy committees. The question that the monitoring team is asking, and there isn't an answer yet, when does this body as an entity review a policy? And this is your suggestion to put it there at all the bottom? The all the, your policy committee suggestion? No. Where is this coming to me from? It's a, it's a, it's, um, to use a Hank Stram term, it's a matriculation of uh, starting by initially writing yourselves into the policy and then inserting yourself in the flow chart and then um, discussing where you propose to be in the flow chart as opposed to what uh, could make more sense as to being, uh, being at the end as the review party, as one of the, as one of the reviewers. So it's, it's just how this has uh, evolved. Okay, and this uh, thing of us being a part of this settlement agreement, uh, settlement agreement related? Yes. Is new, is what you're saying. It's an, a new addition that would allow for the POB as a whole to weigh in on this. Is that correct? Uh, Chair Fine, that's correct. Okay, then, um, and what do you need us to do with this? Anything? Uh, Chair Is Fine, this nothing. Is APD's that's, suggestion or your suggestion to them? Um, I, I was simply providing the flowchart uh, for informational purposes and to alert the board that this is now at OPA being considered. So um, the board can- Do you can vote from us that we approve of this? No, there's nothing to approve at this point. Gotcha, okay. I think it makes sense. It was a concern that we voiced before. Um, when do we as a board take, take a look at the whole thing? It's a good idea.